Hi, I'm Jane Davenport and you are going to draw along with me. So you need to go and get a pencil, a pen, some paper and come and do some art with me right now. So I'm at Creativation, I'm showing all my new things and I'm making a great big mess, a big colourful art mess, which is the way I like it. I've already started um, some artwork in one of my journals here. So I've put down some of my matchmaker paint and this is very, very matte so I can add all of my other um, things to it, including watercolour, the pastels, everything. Um, because it's just so matte. I've also added some of the velvet pastels uh, to it. So this is a really bizarre new art supply. And it's one of my favorite things ever. And look, you apply it like you would uh, lipstick. So I'm just going to dab that on her lips just to give her a little bit of complexity. I've already got a color on there called Rose Empress. I'm putting a little bit of Monarch on there. I actually rubbed a little bit of Monarch onto the face area, but was that Monarch there? Uh, I'm actually going to put this in the background. No, I'm going to put a different color. So this is Neon Queen. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this in the background and then smudge this out. See how it just, it, because this is a gel, it's a new type of thing. It is a pastel, so pigment in a gel formulation. I'm just going to, on the apple of her cheek, I'm going to make that even brighter because I'm going to make her hair really bright. So at the moment, her cheeks look super florid, super flushed, but this will all settle down. Don't you worry. I'm going to now just quickly add, just, I've got too much stuff uh, all over me, so let me just grab. Um, bit off my uh, this is one of my uh, Storytime paint pens, this is the fine yeah. one. I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight to her bottom lip. So I like to think of all of these faces as um, falling out of my paintbrush. So I, I just like to see who's living in there. I have no idea uh, who's living in there. So while I'm thinking about that, sometimes I'll do little things like this. Um, with her hair color, when I put down this um, layer of um, paint, I had no idea who was gonna fall out of my paintbrush. And it was someone whose hair came swooshing over there. So I've got a bit of a cone head effect. So I'm gonna use my paint pen just as a little eraser and I'm not going to try and white it all out I'm just going to add a few little lines just to push that back so you just don't notice it as much so you will be noticing it because I've just talked about it but when you uh, if you looked away and then look back at it you just wouldn't notice those extra lines anymore and then I can just let that dry and I might add some other uh, paint actually I might do I think she might have to have pink hair. This is well, one of the new colours. Oh, I don't know. If she. This is um, Love You Pink. And this is Minty Fresh. I don't know if she's a blue head or a pink head. I think she might be. I think she might need blue hair. So I'm just going to give this a little shake because I've been using a lot of this paint. Give it a little squeeze. Get a little bit of this paint out. Oh, look at this colour. So this is Minty Fresh. Um, where is my paintbrush? She's hanging up here drying. That is what how it's meant to be. So this paintbrush has a lot of spring, which makes it quite easy to use. And it's an angled brush, which means I can get a nice broad stroke of paint happening. Uh, and I can also quickly flip it around and get a, a fine line as well, because I've just got that fine edge. So I'm just going to get all of this paint down. And if you weren't a drawer, if you if seeing something that I've hand drawn makes you think, eh, I, well, it's fine for you, Jane, you've been practicing. I've also got stencils um, that have uh, the full faces on them, and I've also got layerable face stencils to help you uh, draw your faces. There's the neck, there's the chin, there's the eyes, the hair. So you can create your own faces uh, very easily as well. Let's put a little bit more of that paint down. So, and as you can see, I'm, I've got scribbles in the background. I've got 
I'm really loosely applying this paint. There, I've got, um, I think this is colour stick in the background, so it's all going to keep coming up. It's going to um, mishmash in with what I've got. And I'm down into dry brush now as well. And I love this effect. Uh, this is an art journal. I'm not creating something that I want to hang in the Louvre. Um, it's just, it's fun for me to create it. And that's what I want from life. Just to have a little moment of uh, enjoyment with my art supplies. I'm going to add a little bit of this paint pen over her eye. Add a bit more dimension. Oh, that looked pretty. And this smudge here, I've got to show you what that is. This is the drama stick in a colour called Falling in Love. So pretty. And I've added that to give her that hooded eye look. So she looks like she's got sultry, expressive eyes. I can even add a little bit under the eye as well, just to add more dimension. So see how it makes it look like it's going into the paper and out of the paper. Um, I might add a little bit more purple. This is what I'm talking about, seeing who lives in my pens, because she's telling me now that I've got this purple here, she wants a little bit more purple in her hair. So this is, we're in Arizona, it's pretty dry here. And I think that's a little bit wet. I shouldn't really be doing that to my paint pens, but I'll, I'll make sure that they're, I put them to bed clean. So if you are going to do something naughty like that and drag a marker through acrylic, just make sure you put your marker to um, bed clean. So I want to make sure I put her away. I might use, um, I just will avoid the wet paint and I'll use one of my new um, finishing line pens. So this is a chisel tip and to get the variety of lines, so it's got this line and this line in the one pen. Um, and to get the variety of line, I have to turn the pen with a brush. To get the variety of line, I press um, the pen harder. I don't twist the pen. So I end up with different types of lines depending on what kind of pen that I use. So this set of 10 pens has um, that variety built in there for you. It's to help you get a variety of lines so your artwork is more um, easily, um, has more visual texture. So I get a more angular line. I draw differently with this pen. Um, these are also great for lettering and um, chisel pens are for calligraphers but we can use them for whatever we want there's no rules uh, I'm going to add a really fine line with one of the micro lines in the finishing line because I've got these thicker lines if I add a little fine line that'll add to the complexity as well and it'll look it, and when I say add to the complexity it just looks like I've taken longer I've been drawing you know, for hours and really I'm just, you know, drawing for a few minutes. Because when I'm art journaling, I don't really want to, I don't want to spend all day doing something. I just, I've got an idea or I just want that little freedom, that relaxation that being creative gives me and I want to create something easily and joyfully or with ease rather than easily maybe. That's a better way of saying it. I'm so naughty putting this on paint that isn't dry, but it, I, I felt it, it's dry enough. Uh, so this is the thickest of the brush pens. So I'm putting a little <laughs> bit of her on there. And now I think I'm going to... So there's no uh, rules to what I'm doing. Uh, I just... Every time I draw and paint, it's a little bit different. But what I'm doing with this uh, marker is I'm just dabbing the edges so that the line isn't so distinct and it's a softer coming and going which is what you're going to get with a marker a more distinct edge oh I think she needs a little bit of white highlight in their hair and I started with these black dots before and I quite like that so uh, I've even got a little bit of gold <laughs> highlight that twinkle is from these are the ultimate pens in silver screen and golden age. And I think she needs a little bit of twinkle in her eye, so I'm going to give her a little bit of mica. This is a waterproof formula that's based on a shimmering eyeliner. 
So can you see that on camera? Yeah. The, mm -hmm. the glimmer? Oh, it's so pretty. Put that in her eye. And I might give her a little bit of the gold on the top of her eye. Here. Like this. And, and if I wanted to soften this transition uh, between where I've got these really pink cheeks and the skin tone, I can actually come over with a little bit more paint. But I love the red cheeks, so I'm going I'm going to leave those because I think they look cute but uh, we could add a little bit more contour so I'm going to try with this is with um, one of the drama sticks in hands to yourself and I'm just going to put a little bit of that on there and then blend that in just to give her a little bit of uh, cheekbone because this is very very soft and smudgeable and I might give her a little bit on this side as well, just to start building a bit of a shadow and under here. And then I think I might add a little bit of colour stick. So this set is called Silky Skin. And I'm just going to give her a little bit more shadow. I've got a little bit in there, but I'm just going to add a little bit more. So I'm just adding a little bit of this colour stick. Um, again with these purples and I'm going to go right around the edge of this too and really make that edge um, dramatic so that she really looks cut out and stuck on and oh I think that looks beautiful <laughs> and then these are soft and smudgy when I first put them down so I can soften this out a little bit if I want to, like smudge that out to make it more of a halo. Oh, I like that. Or I can use some um, water and it's also water soluble. Cool. So I've got a little bit of a gift in there. <laughs> so I'll just use that up and then I'm just going to um, soften that out with a little bit of the, with water. So I can leave it as it is as a crayon, let it set um, so in, you know, until it dries out. I can smudge it, I can smudge colours together. Because uh, smudge isn't the right word. Smudge has a negative connotation, but smudge sounds nice. <laughs> smudge. And then um, we've got, I'm just going to add a little bit more uh, shadow to the face there. And because I've just created this willy-nilly at the beginning, then I can see things that I might want to change. So I might, I've got these other lines that are from underneath. I'll probably put a bit of paint over that, knock that back so I can't say, hello, Sammy, how are you going? Um, and then, yeah, just I'll keep going and going and going and going all day before you run out. You would run out of tape before I stop. I'm just going to add a little bit of the palette pastel. So the colour I just added is called serenity now and I'm just adding that over and it's just tinting the paint um, because of the formula of these um, it's not imperative that you use fixative because I'm grinding that pastel in um, eventually if you wanted to give it a little hit of fixative even cheap uh, hairspray like Aquanet as long as it doesn't have any oils or conditioners in it that will just help stick everything down but I I haven't used any fixative for anything so you don't really have to if you don't want to so that is like a little tip of the iceberg of uh, all the different things that I have in this collection uh, various collections and uh, I hope you enjoyed a few things if you want to see more I've got um, lots of things on my um, website I nearly forgot what that was called then uh, but I remembered at the last second <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I hope you have had a nice little art time and you did some art yourself. <laughs>